uh, if we again come back to Vygotsky's, Vygotsky discusses that the only way to come to scientific concept is is to make an interaction between everyday concepts and scientific concepts. So the children should express their concept and the teacher presents academic concepts and they are discussing interaction, what is right, what is wrong here. This is, so it should be based on the child's understanding and then the teacher says, okay, you understand this way, okay, let's do, and they, so that's what teachers do and that's what good teachers do. But you know, there are some teachers who don't care about child's everyday concept. They just give, this is a concept, this is the, please remember that. And children remember, they have good memory and that's it. But it has no relation to the development of concepts because children are not able to think the concepts, but concept is a unit of thinking huh? and, a, and a system of actions. And Andy said that this today, and that's absolutely true. And even more, because he says that if the child has only one scientific concept, it means nothing. Scientific concept does not exist in vacuum. It always should be a system of concepts, mm -hmm. interrelated concepts. Exactly what we are doing today with Vygotsky's theory. I am trying to present theory as a system of concepts. But this is not the whole story, believe me or not, it's not the whole story, okay. So, you see, we started from ZPD and we came to at least two laws of development, several concepts, including social environment as a source of development, social situation of development, higher psychological functions, or so. <laughs> okay, but there is one interesting aspect of ZPD as a concept, is that the child uh, the task the child is not able to solve independently. Do you remember? This is the way how we identify the level of potential development of intellect. We just give the task to the child and child tries to solve the, the task, but he cannot. How it might happen? I give the task, child tries and then says, ah, I cannot and disappears. So, should I think about how to support the child to solve the task? No, no way, because child is not interested in the task, no way. But what, what also might happen? I might give the child the task and the child tries to solve the task and the child feels that he cannot solve the task, but he tries and tries and tries being involved and he has a kind of, kind of dramatic dramatic collision, why I cannot, so why it doesn't work? Is these, are these two situations equal? No. The first situation is that the child tries and then gives up and the second is the child is still trying. Mm -hmm. How can I change this situation? How, how can I make this situation in my laboratory to make it to, to make an analysis. I can organize the play, the role play or scenario with the children. And in this scenario, they have to go to do something. And there is a task sent by the wizard. Wizard. Otherwise they will they will not get to the treasures they are trying for. Okay, so I locate the task into the situation of play when they all are involved they're playing they have to find the treasure and there is a task and they, they try to solve but they cannot so but they, they want to try the task so they are they are experiencing the great need they have a motivation to solve the task of course i have created this situation specially because i have located this poor intellectual task into the context when the child cannot come out <laughs> because otherwise the play will be destroyed so, and this relates ZPD to another important concept, which is the concept of drama. Mm. The concept of drama. The child tries to solve the task. He cannot solve the task. He feels as a kind of dramatic event. And then the teacher or a wizard or somebody or no one comes and gives a kind of hint 
a way, shows the way, gives an example, and the child solves the tasks first together with the wizard. And then when the next task comes from the wizard, from the wizard, the child says, ha, ah, okay, I can I know how to do this. So this is very important concept. It's not about intellectual tasks only. It's about the child, uh, whole child, the holistic view of child. The child is involved not only intellectually, but also involved emotionally. The child under understands this as a task he need, he should solve. Not just the intellectual task given, like three apple and three apple, how many apples? No, it's not about that. So if the child accepts this as a task and the child is trying to find the ways how to solve the task. This is very important aspect of ZPD, which is quite often missed from the secondary or second-hand Vygotsky's uh, writers. And this is very important. This is very important. And because this is a drama and social situation of development when, this, when the task should be solved, but you don't know how, okay? This is a specific social situation of development. It is also related to Pirijivanie. Because Pirijivanie is, I am now quoting Vygotsky, Pirijivanie is how the child perceives, accepts, understands, and becoming aware of certain situation. If I really want to organize the conditions uh, for the child to create a zone of proximal development, I want to think about in which form I will present this task to the child to make sure that the, the child accepts this as the task not given to him, but as his task he needs to solve. And experience this as a drama and begins to reflect this task through his own individual perejivania this very situation where the task is the center. If we forget this aspect of child's emotions, child's individual understanding, thinking, individual involvement, if we just put, oh, this is kind of intellectual tasks, bine, also so on. So it's not about ZPD. ZPD is when the task is in the center of specially created social, micro-social situations of development when the child is taken as, as a challenge with a high motivation and tries, tries, and then he has a kind of negative perejivania that I cannot, and then together with others in the teacher, he finally finds the answer. It's a kind of adventure for him. I'm looking at Andy, <laughs> this is a kind of adventure, but not Perijivani is adventure. The whole situation is an adventure for him. And his Perijivani of this situation is very important individual reflection of that. So this is an important personal, if you like, personal individual aspect of ZPD. And this is also related to the levels of development because ZPD is still a distance, not a difference, not a distinction, not a territory, not a field, but the distance between level of actual development and level of potential development of the child, which opens the door to the child developed or developing higher psychological function, which might be Thinking might be memory, might be will, might be attention, because ZPD exists not only for thinking. ZPD also exists for every higher psychological form. Unfortunately, because he didn't make a research about how ZPD works for other functions, but he says that uh, the same is applicable to other high psychological functions. And he says that this in uh, 
uh, I think it's a problem of age somewhere. Okay, so you see, I'm coming back to my point. Deep understanding, generative understanding. We take one concept of ZPD. Okay, we took it and we don't, we don't follow the interpretations like say, oh, ZPD, ah, it's about how more knowledgeable other uh, supports and that's it. No, 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 say, okay, okay, let's, let's take it as a strategic concept and let's locate this into the theory. And then, aha, uh -huh, what is the nearest concept it is related? It is related to the concept of development because zone of proximal development is about development. Zone of proximal development is about development. Zone of proximal development is not about learning, but because it is not a zone of proximal learning. It is a zone of proximal development. Okay, what is development? Development according to cultural historical theory, development is how the social becomes the individual. This is what development is. Therefore, ZPD is also about how the social becomes the individual. Okay, then ZPD is a distance between two levels. One level is individual and the second is social. Level of actual development is absolutely individual. Level of potential development is absolutely social. Okay. How the social becomes the individual means that what was social, what is social today, tomorrow will be individual. What is on the child potential level today will be in the child actual level tomorrow. Why? Because every high psychological function appears on the stage twice, first on the social plan and then on the individual. And this is in relation to the law of development. And volume one, because he says that the relationship between academic concepts or scientific concepts and everyday concepts is exactly the relation between level of potential development and level of actual development. So the idea of ZPD is applicable to the concept formation because mm -hmm. concept, concept formation is the way of development of thinking as a higher psychological function. So the higher psychological function, thinking as a higher psychological function develops from everyday concepts into the scientific concepts. So, mm -hmm. well, and this is not the whole story. There is one more aspect of ZPD and this aspect of ZPD, which I was, uh, I, I wrote something uh, many years ago is hidden dimension of ZPD. You can find my paper called ZPD hidden dimension. Hidden dimension, what I mean by hidden dimension is that the child can solve intellectual task, that the child can solve intellectual task incorrectly, not because he does not understand the task, because he takes the task too personally. I can give you an example. So you ask the task, you have two apples. Then you give one apple to somebody. How many apples you will have? The child says, two. Huh, teacher said. The child does not understand that Having two apples, giving one apple to somebody, he will have only one apple. Ah, this is probably the zone of his proximal development. We have to work with the child to teach him that two minus one is one because the child cannot solve this simple problem individually, right? The child needs to support this, okay. But then another teacher says, okay, you have two apples, you give one apple to someone, how many apples you will have? Two. And the question is, why? Ha, because I never give my apples to anyone. <laughs> what does it mean? It means the child, of course, understands that mm -hmm. when he gives apple to somebody, he will have only one. And that is why he is not giving apples to anyone. He wants to have two apples instead of one. You see, 
So, and it means that the child act actual level, <laughs> this is not his potential, this is actual level. This is what we discovered uh, when we studied play, uh, <laughs> how play creates a zone of proximal development. You can, you can uh, this, this paper is free, uh, free to download. Go to Academia Edu or Research Gate, you find it there. It's one of my quotest papers, by the way. So uh, the ZPD hidden dimension. So what do I mean by hidden dimension is that even though we are, we are doing intellectual tasks or memory tasks, you should not forget that the child is not only his memory, that the child is not only his intellect, that the child is not only his attention. Yeah? That the child is the child, is the child. You are dealing with the child, but not with, <laughs> with his, his memory. Okay, so don't forget about possible hidden dimension. That's why play is very good uh, uh, settings, very good uh, form of interaction to study the child development because in, in play, the children demonstrate who they are, even their playing roles. It's a very, very strongly articulated uh, personal dimension in, in play, uh, play activity. So, and finally, we cannot speak seriously about zone of proximal development if we forget uh, the idea of signs and tools. Because high psychological functions are mediated by signs and tools by definition. One of the aspects of building or creating a zone of proximal development for the child is just giving an example of solving the task or solving the task together, but how? What are these instructions? What are these examples? Mm -hmm. These examples should include certain tools, cultural tools that child use together with you in order to be able to solve the task. Remember what happened today with you? The task was to remember how many digits are after the comma in pi. That was the task. And then what I gave to you, I gave to you two cultural tools you can use to solve this task. And I created a social situation of development and I have created a little bit of zone of proximal development for you. <laughs> Even though you are very, very well developed people already in terms of memory and thinking and will and emotions much more developed than me, but I just shared with you my ways of remembering things using cultural tools. So this is one of the interesting aspects of zone of proximal development, which is not well articulated, uh, which for me is a very interesting area of research. And if somebody is interested to do this research, like, like what is the role of the cultural tools in creating a zone of proximal development for any kind of children or teachers or adults or whatever. It might be very interesting, a uh, very interesting new dimension of, uh, of uh, research in a zone of proximal development. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you. But, Hang on, Nikolai. There's but one it could, concept but, you didn't manage to fit in. And huh? that's, uh, you, there's one concept you didn't manage to fit in. You said you were going to fit in all the concepts. Uh, and the number two concept was Perijvanya. And we no, actually, I did. I did mention it. Yeah, I did. I did that uh, ZPD is related with drama and drama is related with Perijvanya and social situation of development. I did. Uh, that was uh, the only mention. Huh? That was the okay. only mention. Uh, yeah. Can I have another stab at it before we quit? Yeah, of course. Okay, I, I want to link it to Shiyama's question about metacognition. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what Vygotsky says about Perishvanya is that it is not simply the experience of a drama or the experience of a conflict. It is the um, folding back of an experience upon itself. That is to say, it is the processing of the meaning of the experience. Oh. And, and for that reason, Perishvanya seems to me um, to be present throughout development. It is mm -hmm. uh, 
like another aspect I'm going to talk about tomorrow, which is emotion. Emotion mm -hmm, is present mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. every stage of development, except that by the time you get to development and look back at the beginning of it, what was an emotion has been completely transformed. Yeah, and I think yeah, we absolutely. can say exactly the same thing about Pereshvanya. Absolutely. And this is one of the very difficult things that um, it's not just that we're trying to fix the theory in stable meanings and like words like development, for example, and say that Vygotsky meant X and not Y. But in fact, Vygotsky uses terms that themselves develop. They mean different things at different stages of development. Yeah. So the Perishvanya of the infant drinking milk at the mother's breast is one thing. Yes. <laughs> the Perishvanya of the teenager thinking over his or her first sexual experience is something very different. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you for mentioning this. So, uh, Pere Giovanni, uh, well, I don't want to reproduce everything I have written about Pere Giovanni. If you are interested in what I think about Pere Giovanni, uh, the list of, of my, my, my readings are, is available. But what I want to say is that uh, as we established zonal proximal development as a concept is connected directly to the general genetic law, which says that every high psychological function appears on the stage twice, first as a social, then in social plan, then individual plan. And you know this by heart. Everybody who knows Vygotsky can just reproduce this law uh, from memory. Doing the same as children do without understanding, just reproducing from memory. Okay. However, however, if we look at this formulation, what does it mean? Appears on the stage twice. First, it appears on the social plan of the stage and then appears again in the individual plan of the stage. Does it mean that it first appears, then disappears, no. and then appears again individually? And what happens between this? Because Vygotsky says, appears on the stage twice. First, it appears in a, on a social plan, interpsychologically. Then it appears. How can we understand this appearance and disappearance and appearance again? It's a magic here. It's a mystic. Any ideas? Any ideas? Uh, I, my idea is that the world is a stage. And that Vygotsky yeah. is thinking is thinking of planes on a stage. There's on, a one, on one stage, on one stage, yeah. And there's a proscenium, and there is the mid stage. Yeah, so proscenium, the mid stage, and the backstage. Yes, and I'm looking at Brandon. Brandon, your quotation from this law from one in society doesn't say about appears on the stage twice, but the stage is important for Vygotsky because. This is the stage of life, every function. It's, it's a drama, it's Shakespeare, it's Hamlet. It's like a th very theatrical, okay? But if you take man in society, you don't find anything about stage and even nothing about two plans of the stage because your translation says it appears on two levels, mm. okay? But the levels, uh, levels of my beautiful house, but not two plans of the same theatrical stage when dramatic collision of your life unfolds. And Vygotsky using Ton Perejivani, Vygotsky clarifies it does not disappear. It appears first and then being refracted through Pirejivani, it appears as a second time. Every high psychological function appears on the social plane of the stage and then being refracted individually, each time individually, through the prism of Charles Pirejivani. And Pirejivani is not only emotion, Pirejivani includes interpretation, understanding, consciousness, awareness perception and memory and will and imagination and emotions. This is a complex. So it becomes the individual. Because Vygotsky says, Pirejivani is a concept. I'm now quoting, directly quoting, not from mind and society. I'm quoting from different source. Pirejivani is a concept 
which allows us to understand the role and influence of environment on the course of the child development. Pirishivani is a concept which allows us to understand the role and influence of the social environment on the course of the child development. The moments of environment, the aspects of environment, which are not refracted through child spirituality, they do not have any effect on the child. They exist objectively as factors. But if they are not refracted through the child spirituality, they are never becoming the child's individual higher psychological functions. Only those moments of environment which are refracted through the prism of the child perijumania becomes the factors of development. That's what Vygotsky says. So that's why when we create a zone of proximal development for the child, we have to be careful about personal dimension. We have to be careful about dramatic moments when the child takes this task, not as just a poor intellectually gymnastics, but as a, as a task he needs to, to solve because this, this, is a, this is a task of death and life or something like that. Full of emotion being refracted through his individual prism of Pelejivani. Only through this potential becomes actual. Only through this social becomes individual or does not. There is no guarantee, of course, but without Pirijivani, there is no way, there is no chance. Absolutely no way. So. And this moves us to understand Vygotsky not as a poor social determinist, saying that everything depends on the environment. Environment, no, nothing about because environment, moments of environment should be reflected through the, by the child own Pirijivani. And the child is somebody who is making social situation, a social situation of development. This is the child who is making ZPD a ZPD because if it's not reflected through his Pirijivani, it's nothing, it's just a surrounding even though the conditions are the best, if the child is not refracting them through his own emotional, personal, intellectual prison, nothing happens. Social is not directly determines the child. No, it should, child is, and Vygotsky writes, the Pirijivani makes social situation a social situation of development. <laughs> That's a direct quotation from, from Vygotsky. So you see, uh, it was a journey uh, from one concept in order to make sure that we do understand this concept what required is to establish the relations of this concept with all other concepts. Exactly as Vygotsky said, concepts do not exist in separation. Concepts always exist as a system of concepts. So understanding of the theory as a system of concepts means that we have to answer two questions. If you take a concept, question number one is, how this concept is related to the subject matter of cultural historical theory, which is the process of development of higher psychological functions. We have to find the answer to this question. And the second is how this concept is connected and related with other concepts and laws. Once we have answer to these questions, we have a hope that we have a deep understanding of this particular concept as our analytical tool.